Okay, I am including this. This is the next day and we're still testing out the Becca primer, that under eye primer and powder. So yesterday I did no, powder, uh, no primer and powder and then I did primer and powder. Today we're going to do primer and a different powder and my different powder and no primer. So we'll see. We'll see you in a minute. I'm going to put on my, pri my face primer and foundation and I'll be right back. So I guess you guys need to see me putting on the primer, right? I'm going to put the primer only on this side again, but like I said, with a different powder. So we're, I just felt like yesterday it would look great on, but I wanted to make sure, you know? And another difference is I had not been wearing makeup for a few days yesterday, you know? So I had, my skin had a nice break. Do you feel that your skin performs differently, like hold on to makeup? Your makeup lays better if you have not been, you know, wearing a lot and then like you wear it and it, does that make sense? Or like after wearing it for a few days in a row that it gets dry. I mean, I know I wasn't wearing the best foundation um, the last week. It was very, it had like, I'm sure pretty, a lot of alcohol content in it. <laughs> So I could tell uh, when I gave my skin a break. So that was another thought I had um, and going in with what I said in this video about how things work differently. It depends on your skincare and all that wonderfulness. So I'm going to pounce this in and I'll come back after I, when I go in to put more concealer. That way you don't have to watch all this. All right, we're going to go in with the concealer on both eyes, of course. And let's see. And we shall see. I'm going to set it with the powder I was using yesterday, which is what I've been using the last month or so. This guy, the Urban Decay. Um, Naked Skin Ultra Definition Pressed Finishing Powder in Naked Medium Light. And like I said, we're going to set both of them with the same powder. Do you guys need to see it all that? I don't know. No primers on this side. No primer. Primers on this side. <laughs> this is so up close, you guys. Do you hear her snoring? Okay, eye boogers happen. Probably can't see, but I'm telling you, right? Okay, should we set it? And then I'm gonna go in with my bronzer and all that. And then I'll, I don't know, I kinda wanna play with other eyeshadow palettes, but I'm gonna stick to another, um, the same eyeshadow palette as yesterday and do another look for you guys for this video. So. Let's see. Oh, 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 I haven't even gotten into my brush pouch yet. I'm trying to be very quiet for her. For us, right? <sighs> I see this. I see the lines. The creases. You guys probably can't even see that other side, huh? Sorry. Okay. I'm going to go do my bronzer. Same as yesterday. And we'll see you in a minute with them. Um, I'll probably be back to do some eyeshadow with, again, with the Winky Luxe. And then we'll throw that little clip in 
with the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna try to use the other colors, so we'll see what I come up with. Okay, last uh, spare of the moment decision. I thought it might give me a good chance to play with something from Beautylish, from the Lucky Bag. Do you guys remember that? I haven't. I just watched her when I showed you guys on film, and that's it. I haven't messed with her. She's so pretty, right? This guy Terry. Why not? So I did. I put on the Chanel cream bronzer. I set my face with the rest of the rest of my face with the um, the Urban Decay powder that we just used. And well, I look in here, and like I've always have the same set of link. But look, this side is settled. I mean, creasing, creasing less than this side. No primer, primer. I'm just saying, just saying to you, I see it, like, both of them have creasing, like I said, but this one looks worse, okay, pretty wild, okay, I need chapstick, hold on, lip balm, I've been using this, this is, um, First Aid Beauty, this, oh, don't you hate that when they have, like, oils that separate or something? It was very pigmented the other day. Let me check this again. Okay, sure, go ahead, do it on camera. <laughs> the This lip balm I'm talking about. It was not watery like that the other day. You guys can't see it, I know. It was not watery like that the last few times that I've used it. Um, do you guys know anything about this? Tell me, it was like a thicker consistency. And right now it's like too much I'm assuming coconut oil. It's too watery. Let me read it. I'm literally going to wipe it on my towel here. Jojoba seed. Grape seed oil. Shea butter. Okay, but I'm serious. This is totally not supposed to be in the video. I just I just want lip balm, guys. I just want a little bit of lip balm. But it was not supposed to be watery like that. Like, oily. It's not supposed Tell me, I I just had opened this up. It needs to be mixed. It's tinted. Anywho, <laughs> it's just too runny. Okay, let's hope I don't need that. Blend, we need a blender. <laughs> this is too wobbly. I'm sorry. Probably making you dizzy. No, it's it's not you. It's not you that's moving. What's moving, guys? You feel like you're on a ship. <laughs> okay. Okay, where are we going to use this guy? I don't know. I was just going to do this. I see there's like three separate colors, but that's what I'm going to use too. Mm. I got a lot right there. That's why I'm like, ooh. Mm. It's pretty. It blends very nicely. <laughs> yes, I have some awesome blonders. Blessings received. Um, bra uh, 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 highlighter. Oh, we did it again, Kaylee. I forgot to use the highlighter again, but we're gonna do it. This is the hourglass. This wasn't part of the deal, like I said. We're doing it. Then we're gonna use that blush. Why not, right? But I'm not going to show you guys my brows again because that takes forever. I was just trying to get the winky, what? Winky Lux? And this Becca thing. The winky Lux. We'll look at the back, the under eye in a moment again. Things settle over time. And but like I said yesterday, it looked great. It looked really good in the evening. Um both sides look really good. A little more creasing was on this side, a little more worn down. And 
I'm just, it's pretty cool. What can I do with it? Now, we're gonna put on blush, that's why. I totally just highlighted without a mirror. But that's okay, blush. Drink water, guys. Who needs a water break? I do. It's right here next to my brushes, so why not? And what did I use for powder highlight yesterday? I don't remember. Oh, it was on my Hourglass palette. This guy. And I used that blush, but... Oh, there has a highlight here. Okay, I'm gonna go for coral or pink. I guess that's warm, and that's they, it. All looks warm to me. I'm going for the the pink. It is kind of small for. I'm I'm packing it into my bristles. It is kind of small for the pan, you know, to get a brush in. Is that supposed to be swirled also all together? That's why I did that with the bronzer because it just seemed like that's what would be best. I'm patting it because I don't want any products to move. It looks good after I blend it all in, right? Pretty. Mm -hmm. Kind of a lot. We'll do that swipe motion. I don't like that though. It feels like it's my, I'm very moist. I drew, I've been really working on keeping my skin moist, 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 and. Um, It was quite vibrant. Okay. Ta-da. Mm -mm. I don't know if I like my stark white down here. Do you know what I'm talking about? Okay, highlight. We're gonna do with it, guys. We're gonna do this next. It's just I I don't know why I did that with the bronze with the bronzer brush right there. But you gotta even it out. Okay, here we go. Just, just the bronzer. I can see the gold. Because the champagne, the other one was champagne flash. Okay, guys. Brows. I'll be back with Winky Lux. Drink water. I just was drinking it. I'm like, it's, it's pretty. My cheeks look pretty. Okay. Much better, right? These brows. Oh. And maybe it'll help if I put a camp of a mirror up for me. You guys know I'm always mobile. Like, <laughs> my setup, I take it up, put it up and down every time. So, that's why I'm always doing this crazy stuff. So, we're gonna, um, what, this creamy white. To set that bit of concealer that I got there and yeah I've noticed there, there's lots of subtle uh, creasing and you know the concealer under my eyes has set quite a bit but, but it'll be okay we're gonna blend it out that's now we're gonna go in with this transition shade yes I know there's names for them but I'm not let's get this done we did this yesterday I know you guys don't want to be here all day, right? I mean, you could. I do, but time doesn't stop, unfortunately. You know, I wish it did. 
I wish we could just be like, well, like say two days, you know, like, oh, kind of how I've been living these days. Whatever I get done when I get done. my transition under the under well that surely didn't work do I keep all of this in hi Kaylee hi Kaylee I don't know but we shall continue I don't even know what I was saying or anything <laughs> somebody doesn't want me to record that's what's happening Let's see, how can I hold this all? Okay, let's. So we're back again. Let's go in. So I have, oh, the transition shade down here at the bottom. That's where that creasing is. I've been just blending it into my eyeshadow, this creasing here. It's like I want my eyeshadow to go down here. I do. I'm like, I like the heavy lash line, lower lash line with, um, this is literally, I mean, I can't, this is how we do it. I'm standing up. Yesterday I was sitting down and it was not as comfortable. This. Okay. I need to use this bluish color, this gray. Hmm. We're gonna go in with it. With this Morphe brush again. Her hair is, make, is itching my face. Do you guys like this side better? No, I don't like that side better. I have crooked teeth, okay? And I'm just saying, I prefer this side. Gotta find your angles, guys. My lovelies, you gotta find your angles. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the the berryish shade. I don't know. It just seemed pretty. I could almost see this peeking through up here in my thought. That's my thought. I need like space guys so this is the eye tutorial on how to baby wear and do your makeup right no you guys this is nothing there is nothing special about um, you know what I'm doing I just just got to get my life done life must go on I'm using that black shade, the dark shade, not black. What am I talking about? Kind of similar to what I did yesterday, right? I don't know. This is what I, like I said, what I go to when I'm like, oh, these days it's like a lash line. Like a liner. It's just what I'm doing. Nothing planned. I, I want the red in there, though, the... Not red. Burgundy? Plum? So. I probably. I'm 
let's go with the brown again the, with the transition. My arm's already hurting from uh, doing my brows, to be honest. That's what happens. Okay, what are we gonna do on the lid? The lid. Oh, I didn't use the gold yesterday, right? We're gonna go in with this guy on the corner more. I just did it. I figured I would get more pigmentation than with the brush if I go with my finger. You see the glitter there? Ooh, it's pretty. Yeah, last night I tried playing with nail polish and then I did dishes, so this is what's left of them. All ready. I haven't done looks like this in a while, you guys. A little too high. <laughs> now I'm gonna go in with this color um, right in here. No, you guys. I see so many cool things and I want to try them all and I don't usually have the time. So right now that she's nice and asleep, I'm going to go for it. I don't know. I know I got to um, blend out only here. Like try not to touch. Try not to blend away my color. And then I'm going to go in with this guy. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, you guys. It's, I don't know. We'll see when the look is over. When the look is over. I think that's the trick, right? To hold on to the pigmentation to like not move it all, not blend everything away. What do I have? I have another one here. I'm just giving you guys all the views, eh? Oh, I know what I'll do. What color did I use on that one last time? I'm getting confused now. Having her in arms is just different, you guys. So, yes, yeah, some more. How do we get these dots in our I'm gonna go back in with the. How do we get these dots in our ears? The earrings? No, the dots. Um, we'll talk about it in a little bit. The white, the the cream shade. gonna go on the inner corner you guys um, I want to make sure it's yes amor I don't know where there's chicle oh no 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 
we're in Matthias's room, so we can't, um, I give away too much information, you guys. I give away too much information. What color eyeliner should we go with? I, I'm going to do eyeliner next. And I've been, just, just 10 minutes to do that. Oh, you guys, that's a lip liner. And this is a lip liner. Right here I have a, I have a blue, a part, you know, what do I have? A brown. I'm going with brown. I don't know, does brown match that? Blue. Let's go with blue. I haven't used this blue liner in a long time. This is the Honest Beauty liner. At the end you'll see I had on lipstick NARS. Anna, today we'll see what we go with. What do you think? Blue. Hello, blue. Just that little bit of the lash line. I'm doing my waterline. Is that the waterline? I think I am going to tight line with it too. I'll, I'll be back, you guys. I'm going to do that waterline. I also, like I said, I'm going to do tight line. Do you guys like to see that? Ooh. Who likes to see that? And lashes and lips. <laughs> and for uh, primer, I'm using the. Never mind. It's not cruelty for you guys, but I was curious when Maybelline and Makeup by Le Makeup Shayla Shayla Makeup came out, and I got the Maybelline palette of hers, and then I tried this the Big Shot Colossal Colossal Big Shot tinted primer. It um, actually does it as good as the Estee Lauder Little, Back, Little Black Primer, and it's cheaper. So, um, I have not found my, well, no, I think Essence is the cruelty-free, really good mascara. Essence found at Ulta. And while we're talking about that, if you go to Ulta, and if you have find this, if you see this, I need to tell you right now, this um, Melissa Michelle in Ulta, X Ulta. If you guys see this, it is great. Um, I seen online, like on my app. I just looked yesterday because I was thinking of doing like a look with this, and I I will still probably because I want to use. I'm going to be using that for the month of February, along with like the box that I was going to show you guys in my box because I have it sitting here in a box. It's my like what I'm using for makeup my monthly makeup basket my ma makeup basket my makeup caboodle what are we gonna call it you guys help me figure that out so yeah my makeup selection for this month and I'm using that Melissa Michelle one in there with some other colors like pinkies and purples I was I guess Valentine's Day right I just thought it was appropriate um, I'm giving away spoilers for next video so that's what I was talking about here is the mascara it's pretty good I mean comparable to that little black primer even though it's not cruelty free but Ulta Essence the Melissa Michelle palette and we'll come back with lips and I don't know how great that works on the lower lash line because I've been using this it cosmetics tight line waterproof for my lower lash line because you don't mess with the lower lash line <laughs> right this is like the best it cosmetics tight line waterproof waterproof you guys full mine my eyes are super super watery like uh i i'm i'm assuming on another level my eyes are very watery <laughs> i'm always like guys are you guys watering are your eyes watering like asking my kids and carlos like 
and they're like, oh, no. So yeah, my hands are different. Okay, so another something different, maybe. Where is it? Where is it? Yep, it's right here. Okay, two of the newer lippies that I've bought, that I've got a hold of recently. Okay, let me tell you first, my inner, inner corner, I used two different ones. I used the pure on this side and then the holographic one on this side, which I'll show you also here. I used pure on this side and the holographic one on this side. So just thought I would let you know. Okay. My lips. Mm. That stuff. Don't forget to let me know about that. If you guys have had any knowledge with the first aid beauty lip balm thing. I don't know if I'm going to like this. Um, Griselda by Fenty Beauty or Anastasia Beverly Hills in Dead Roses. I've used Dead Roses before. I really like it. But I'm going for this one. The Fenty Beauty one. You guys. Is this not the cutest thing ever? Fenty Beauty. Yes. Matches my nails too much. Kind of. I know my nail polish is bad. But like I said, I was going to change it this morning and I was like, nope. YOLO. I, I cannot be perfect every single day. And like I just filmed yesterday and now filming today. So I'm, I'm really trying to get stuff out for you guys. And that's just that. I mean, I've, that's like the experiment that's going on of how good is this nail polish. Um, this is, you know. Um, you guys noticed it was used, but it was by used by Pilar. Yeah, I don't know if I needed the liner. I thought like, ah, oh well. Ooh. Hmm. I, I need my hand close to me. Okay. Mm -mm. I need a liner or something. A brush, right? That would be wise. I don't like the way it, um, like, the edges. No, I don't want to do that. I want to do like a blown out edge then. This is what I do sometimes. <laughs> okay. It's messy. So, take note. I need a good lip liner and I can't, I just, I can't do it right now. You know what I've been using lately, you guys? Hmm. I want to take some of it off. There. It's crooked and everything, so whatever. We're gonna do that. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'll go. Moving, I sell. Ahorita lo arreglo. Should we go in with Hex now? That was Hex, Urban Decay. Ahorita lo arreglo. Está bien. There we go, 
I have a wrinkle right here. And now I gotta go do my hair. Go fix it. Let's put some spray on. Illuminating cover effects, illuminating. Mm. That does your dog, the mommy. I only do the side like that since it's the illuminating one. Por ahorita, no, no es todo. Thank you. Um, check out the under eyes real quick. Thank you again. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't mind the silliness and this long, long, way too long video. So I'm going to try to figure out how to cut it down. We're going to experiment, you guys. And thank you for joining this ride. Like, subscribe, all that great stuff.